Hello everyone and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to create your own custom footer. So this is the footer that I will be designing. So as you can see, this is a really custom footer. I've added all these links manually. And also, I'm gonna show you how to save this as a global item so that you can add this footer to the rest of the pages on your website. Now, the advantage of doing it this way is if you do decide to add maybe a link onto that footer, that link will be updated on all the pages on your website. So it's very, very important that you do that. And I show you how to do that as well. Another area that also needs some customizations or some changing to is the little uh, item here at the bottom where it says designed by Elegant Themes. Now you may want to change this and make it custom to your own company details. I also show you how to do that. So for this tutorial, I'll be using the DV theme, but you can apply these techniques to other page builders as well. And if you do decide to use Divi as your page builder, if you buy it using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my course, which is worth 247, absolutely free. Now this course is called the Divi Blueprint 3. It teaches you everything that you need to know about Divi if you're a beginner, and also if you wanna learn how to design professional websites. Let's dive in now and let me show you how I managed to create this footer. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from scratch. So I'm gonna open up a brand new page here. So I'm gonna go first of all into the dashboard. And then we're gonna create a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here, click on add new. Right, so we're just gonna call this page Divi footer. Okay, Divi main footer. That, use the Divi builder. So for this design, it doesn't really matter if you do it on an existing page or if you just design it from scratch. So in my case, I'm gonna start here from scratch. So I'm gonna click here on start building. And then I'm gonna start going, I'm gonna start with five columns. So here you can decide how many columns you wanna have depending on how much content you have on your website. So I'm gonna start with five columns here. In my first column, I'm gonna add the logo of the company. So to do that, I'm just gonna search for my image module here, select my image. And then I'm just gonna click anywhere around here and search for my logo in my library. But in your case, you need to use a logo that you've designed for your company. All right, so I'm going to go with, um, let's go with this one here. I'm gonna click upload an image. So as you can see, now it's added. And then I'm just gonna save this for now. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is to add the color of my footer background. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon, click on background, and we are going to add our color. So for now, I'm just gonna go with a really dark color. So I'm gonna go with a really dark gray. So I'm happy, pretty much happy with that. And the next thing I'm gonna do is to add some padding. So I'm gonna come over here to spacing, activate my chain and add some padding, both to the top and the bottom. So I think 116 is fine and then save. The next stage now is to start to add all my headings for my footer columns. So I'm gonna start here by selecting my text module. So I'm gonna start here by um, giving this a title. So I'm gonna call this Explore. Okay, I'm gonna highlight this and give this a title of Heading 2. Now it's time to go in and customize this heading. So I'm gonna click here on Design, Heading Text, Heading 2. So first of all, I'm gonna change my font to Poppins. I'm gonna make sure it's all caps. I'm gonna add some letter spacing. I'm gonna change the color. So again, here is where I wanna play around with the shades of gray. So I'm gonna go with this one here. In fact, that's a bit too much. So this is where you can just try these out and see which one works better for you. All right, so I'm just gonna leave that as it is. I think that, that will work. So the next stage now is to save and add a line underneath that heading. So the line can be achieved by adding a divider. So I'm gonna choose here divider. And then I'm gonna come over here to design color. And then again, I'm gonna give this a color. So I normally just use colors from the color palette here. And again, I'm gonna go with a gray like that. Now, when it comes to the styles, I'm just gonna leave everything as it is. But the most important thing now is to come over here to transform, click the second tab, and this is where we can drag this into position because right now it's a bit too far from the actual uh, word. Okay, so I think I'm happy with minus 24. Go ahead and save. Next, now this is the stage where we get to add all the links of our footer. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button. And again, it's gonna be a text module. I'm gonna select that. So now I am going to add all my links. So for explore, I'm gonna start with um, gallery. Next, I'm just gonna say um, adventures. Uh, let's add case studies and careers. Right, so now that I've added all my um, links, 
I need to make sure that these are linked to the proper pages. So I'm gonna highlight this, click on this chain icon, and for now, I'm just gonna add a blank link, but in your case, you wanna add the link to the page that you need to add over here. And I'm also gonna make sure that this opens in a new window and then click OK. Now you wanna do the same to the rest of uh, the links. So now that all our links are added, the next stage is to come over here to design text and then make sure you click the second tab because this is how we get in and customize these links. So I'm gonna click here on the second tab, make sure I change my font to Poppins so that we have consistency throughout our design. And then over here, the size, I think I'm happy with the size, but the next thing I'm gonna change is the color. So I'm gonna click here and just change my color to a slight gray like that. And then finally, I wanna make sure that everything is positioned here. So I'm gonna click on transform, click on the second tab, and then just drag this up until I'm happy with its positioning. So I think I'm gonna go with uh, minus 64 and then save. Now to save us time, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold down my command key, multi-select, copy this, and then add it to the rest of the columns. So that will save me a lot of time. So I'm gonna hold on my command key. Now, if you're on a PC, it's control, but if you're on a Mac, it's command, and then just click what you need to copy over, okay? Right, so I've selected everything here. Now, the next command is going to be a uh, copy and paste. So to copy is command C, and to paste is control V. If you're on a PC, it's control C and control V, okay? So I've hit control C. Now I'm hitting control V to paste. So as you can see, I've just quickly added all my information there. So the next stage now is to just go in and uh, rename these. So for instead of explore, I'm just gonna say visit us. I'm gonna save it, come over here to my text area, and this time I'm gonna get rid of all this and add an address. But the address I'm gonna add here is a random one. Okay, I'm gonna add Birmingham. Then I'm gonna add a postcode, okay. So I've added my address there. So what I'm gonna do now is to go into design, click on text, and just make sure that it matches the text that I have here. So to do that, I'm just gonna change my font here to Poppins, and I think that looks okay. I'm gonna save that. Now the next tab here is uh, set to explore. So we can change this to about us. I'm gonna save that, and then I'm gonna come over here and make some adjustments to the text. In fact, I've selected the wrong one here. Right, so for the text here, all you need to do is to replace that text and um, add the text for about us. So we can say management, and then this is just gonna be the about page. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. So the next stage now is to add or customize the final, uh, the final column. So I'm gonna save this one here. Now this is going to be our social media follow. So I'm just gonna replace this text and just call this follow or can you say follow us, I'm gonna save that. Now, instead of having this text module, I'm just gonna delete that, click this plus button, and this time we need our social media icons, add my social follow. So by default, we have these two added in, but we can always come here and add some more. So I'm gonna click this plus button here, click the drop down. Uh, for now, I'm gonna choose Instagram. I'm gonna click this black back arrow, click the plus button. And let's choose the next one here. So this for this one here, I'm gonna go with uh, maybe YouTube. Okay, and maybe let's have one more. So I'm gonna click black. Okay, and if you also want to rearrange these, you can just click here and rearrange until you're happy with the way it looks. All right, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And then I'm gonna come over here to design, click on transform, and then I'm going to reposition this. So I'm gonna drag this up. So I think I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna move it slightly to the left. Okay, so I think that's positioned well. Now I can go in and save. The next stage now is to add our section divider. So let's go in here into my gear icon, click on design, dividers. So we need to add this divider to the top. So I'm gonna click here on none and then I'm going to choose my divider. Now notice that there's quite a lot to choose from. You know, there's all these different designs, but uh, for this option here, I'm gonna go with this one right here, okay? So I'm pretty much happy with that. You can also adjust the height here if you want, but I'm just gonna keep this, you know, as subtle as possible. And then if you want to, let's say, flip it, you can always use that, and then now it's flipped over here to, towards 
the logo. So it's it's up to you uh, which way you want to have this. So I'm just, I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then I'm going to save. Now I can see here that I need more padding. So I'm just going to click here and just drag and just add more padding that way. Right, so the next stage now is to go in and just make sure that our row is slightly wider. So to do that, I'm going to come over here to my row settings, click on design, and then I am going to click on sizing, custom width, change this unit to percentage, and then I'm just going to drag this down to about 70%, and then I'm going to save. So I'm pretty much happy with that. Now, if you want to make this global, what you want to do is to come over here to this little arrow here, click on it, and then I'm going to say footer two. Make sure you click on make this item global, select that, and then save to the library. So once this is saved, you can actually delete this because we don't need this anymore. It's already saved in the library. So the next stage now is I want to show you how to change this text right here, which says designed by Elegant Themes, powered by WordPress. Because ideally, you want to have your own information on there. So I'm going to come over here to Dashboard. I'm going to discard and exit. So I'm going to come all the way here to Customize. I'm going to click here on Footer, Bottom Bar. So the bottom bar is where it says designed by elegant themes. So I want to change that and say designed by Mac. And then I can just add the year 2019. So I'm going to go ahead now and publish. And now finally, I want to show you how to add this footer to the rest of the pages on your website. All right, so with that, I'm going to just close this. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on uh, add new. So I'm just gonna call this, uh, okay, text two, use Divi Builder, choose a pre-made layout. Now this is gonna save me a lot of time uh, when it comes to designing a brand new page. So I'm just gonna go here with the agency layout pack, uh, use this layout. So this is gonna take a while to load this, but uh, while this is loading, I just wanna say that uh, this is the best way to add footers onto your website. And these footers are also very, very flexible. You can add more elements to them. If you wanted to add, let's say, a video onto it, you can just go ahead, add a video to it, and it will be updated on all the rest of the footers. And if you wanna add in an opt-in form, you can always go in and add that opt-in form. So now I'm just gonna scroll all the way down until I get my uh, section that I need. So in fact, uh, I'm just gonna delete this one here and uh, click this plus button. And then I am going to click on add from library. And as you can see here, footer two is there. I'm gonna click on it. And then my footer has now been added, okay? So that's all you need to do to add the footer onto your website. And also on the bottom here, we can see it now says designed by Mac. So now I can just publish the page, exit the visual builder, and now let's take one more time, quick look at this. Right, so that's your custom footer. It really looks nice. So go ahead, be creative with these footers. Now, as I mentioned, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my course, which teaches you how to build websites using Divi. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell notification because I constantly create these tutorials to help you become better designers. Take care. See you in the next one.